Hello, my name is Tyler Wendland. I'm a student at the University of Minnesota. In this presentation, I'll describe Andro R2, a data set of manually reproduced bug reports for Android apps. When a user interacts with software, there is always a potential for failure. In an attempt to find these errors, developers can use bug reporting as a way for users to directly report an issue they come across. As bug reporting becomes more popular, research is being done to examine whether bug reporting can be automated. While there has been research done, there is no rich data set of reproducible bug reports that this work can be done with. That's the idea behind Andrew R2. Andrew R2 is a data set of 90 manually reproduced user submitted Android bug reports, which can be used to facilitate research in the field of mobile application bug fixing, analyzing, and reproducing. How did we find a collection of reproducible bug reports? We used GitHub to find open source apps and bug reports corresponding to those apps. Next, we downloaded thousands of issues that were submitted to GitHub. Next, we filtered through these issues with a variety of conditions. We only wanted bug reports whose apps were on the Google Play Store. We wanted resolved issues, and we wanted reports with the word steps somewhere in the description. If an app had a lot of bug reports, we randomly selected 10 of them. With the remaining issues, we manually attempted to reproduce each one of them on a Google Pixel 2 emulator by following the provided steps to reproduce in the bug report. So what's in our data set? This process gave us 90 reproducible bug reports. 23 of them are bugs with crashes within the app. 34 of them have some sort of output error and 33 of them have an error with the GUI. Each bug report has corresponding metadata, including information related to their steps to reproduce and how to set up the environment. Each bug report also includes a script that can reproduce the bug. Here's an example of a script executing some steps to reproduce. The issue is related to an eraser icon being grayed out when it should be white. First, the script gets the app to a state where it can reproduce the steps. Then it follows the steps until the bug occurs. After the eraser button is clicked, it stays gray. We believe this data set has a wide variety of applications that can be extended to quite a bit of research relating to automated analysis and reproduction of mobile bugs. The steps to reproduce provide a tool for any program using natural language processing. The reproduction scripts can be a benchmark to compare other automatic reproduction methods. And with assertion states added, this data set could be used to foster research related to automatic bug repair. Thank you.